Right, 7.2, using similar triangles to solve problems. Now, what's important about similar triangles is the scale factor. The scale factor K has some special relation, has a special relationship with the triangles. The, it is the measure of the amount of enlargement or reduction of one triangle to another. It is a, the scale factor is a factor that relates corresponding sides of two similar triangles. So if we have two triangles as such here, ABC and PQR, and I tell you that ABC is similar to PQR, that means the sides are directly proportional. That value that you get is equal to the scale factor. That's K. Because when I divide the sides out, it doesn't matter as long as they're compared correctly, all of those values will have the same number. That number is your K factor, your scale factor. What's unique about the scale factor is the square of the scale factor actually relates to the areas of the two similar figures. For example, if I know the area of one of the triangles and I know the scale factor, that allows me to find the area of the other triangle. Now remember that area always has units squared. Well, in the case of comparing them with similar triangles, that is equal to something squared as well. In fact, that something squared is actually equal to k squared. What that means is that triangle ABC is equal to k squared times the area of triangle PQR. So the two areas will compare by the factor of k squared. Here's an example. Example one, determine the width of the river. So here we have a river and we need to find the width of that river. That's what this is here. So we're looking down on this river and this is the water of all the river and this is the information we have. So we have some measurements, but not all. And this is, in real life, surveyors use this information to be able to survey awkward pieces of land. And here we're surveying, let's say, the river. So these are the measurements that are taken that is possible to be taken. We use this information to find the information we actually need. But to do that, we have to prove similar first. Try So... Let, let, let us label the sides of the particular two triangles and say our similar statement. In triangle ABC and triangle EDC, we know that BAC is equal to angle DEC because of Z pattern, PLTZ. Also, we know that BCA is equal to DCE because of opposite angle theorem, OAT. Because of that, we can prove that therefore triangle ABC is similar to EDC because of angle-angle similarity. What that means, or we could also check for the other angle, which is this one right here. ABC is similar to EDC because of Z pattern as well. Ultimately, because we've proven that they're similar, we can now figure out what the scale factor is to be able to solve our missing information. For example, AB is actually, actually equal to 8.4. AB compares to ED, which is X, which is the side we're looking for. Then we have BC, oh wait, AC and EC we don't need. We don't even have that piece of information and it doesn't require us for, to know that. BC we do know and that one is 6.3. We also know that the measurement of DC is 24. What do we do now folks? Well we cross multiply. 6.3 times X is equal to 8.4 times 24 which 201.6 divide by 6.3 and you get 32. So the river is 32 meters wide. All right, take some time to look at that. We're going to continue. Here we go. Example number two. The shaded area is to be a park. 
Find the area of the park. The fences are parallel and the paths are straight lines. So it's very important for us to note these. So I'm going to show you this. Here we have some information. So we have the greenery, which is the park. We have the two paths, which are pink and orange. Notice the pink and orange paths here. And the fences are the dotted lines here. And that's what these are. These are the fences that are uh, there present in the park. So, what information do we know? Well, the fences are parallel and one side of the fence on the park is equal to three kilometers and we know some other information about the other side. So we have one kilometer from here to here, so that's this length here of the fence and we also know the height of this little triangle and that's going to be 1.4 kilometers. So 1.4 kilometers going across here and the width is one kilometer. Label the sides and you could probably figure out already that we need to prove these two triangles are similar because if they're similar then their areas are similar and we could find the green area. So in triangle ABC and triangle EDC, we have to find the following. Either angle-angle similarity, side-side-side similarity, or side-angle-side similarity. Hopefully you're thinking angle-angle similarity. That is the most easiest and most comfortable proof to do. So angle BAC is equal to angle DEC. BAC is equal to DEC because the Z pattern PLTZ and angle ABC is equal to EDC again because of PLTZ. And yes folks we could have used OAT as well. So again this angle right here is equal to this angle because of Z pattern and this angle and this angle are also equal because of Z pattern. So we've now proven that triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDC because of angle-angle similarity. Because angle-angle similarity, we can now prove sides are proportional. So AB matches with ED. And that's 3 over 1, which is equal to 3. That, folks, is our scale factor. So our scale factor is 3. Now what I can do is find the area of one triangle and compare it to the area of the other triangle. Area, and when I compare them, that has to equal the k factor squared when I compare them. So I can find this information. Knowing the scale factor, that will give me this information. So, one more time, just rewriting it. Just because it's going on the other page, folks, we need to make sure I give you a lot of room. I'm comparing the two triangles and I am going to find the area of triangle EDC. Well, triangle EDC is 1 times 1.4 divided by 2, or half, multiplied by half. The idea is that we take half of the base times the height, and that's what we did here, and multiply by the scale factor. Well, folks, that will give us 6.3 kilometers squared. So the area of the park is 6.3 kilometers squared. That's a pretty big park, if you ask me. All right, folks, that's the end of the video for 7.2. Have a numerical day. Take care.